All right, here we go. Here we are. The moment you've all been waiting for. Actually, probably none of you have been waiting for this. Only me. I specifically have been waiting for this. Just me. I'm the only one. There's a loud person outside. All right. Today, we are doing Five Nights at Tally Hall, a fan game by, a fan game by Lifetime Disaster on itch.io. This is not a joke. I'm not joking. This ain't a prank. This is real. So let's get started. Help Wanted, Marvin's Marvel's Mechanical Museum. You use them, Sergey Guard, who worked night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. The band, all right. Here we go. We're just hopping right into it. I know nothing about this. I just saw it. On the, t uh, the tally hall, the tally hall, um, uh, discord, and I was like, that seems funny. So here we are. I don't know what to expect. Oh, there they are. Was that the, oh, that's the little screen from the Good Day music video. I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Okay. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you're, you're the fine. Okay. So let's just focus on getting into I'll trust you. Week, okay? What's the song that plays when you lose power? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So there's Joe, Rob, and Zubin. Let's see. The dining area. Oh, it's the speech from... Welcome to Telly Hall. Two rooms to four rooms. No other place in the continuous. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Banana Man. Photo booth from. Okay, so we got elevators here. Turn the lights off should play when you run them out of power. I agree. That'd be really funny. It's already 1 a.m. We're so solid. The first night usually isn't that bad. You know. It's my little saying. <laughs> the mind electric incident instead of the bite of 87. A band member without their tie I didn't expect anything from this. This is actually amazing. Who would be in the photo booth? There's only four animatronics, so I don't know which one would be missing. Maybe one of them's Golden Freddy. Alright, so I'm guessing Zubin's Bonnie. I mean tie color, right? So it would be Zubin's Bonnie, Rob's Chica, Joe's obviously Freddy. Who would be Foxy? Maybe because he's just a drummer. He's off to the side, so maybe Ross would be? No, but Andrew is... Hmm. I guess I'll, we'll have to find out. Everyone's still there. I'm sorry, I won't be able to look at chat too, too much because this is kind of like an active game that you got to be active in. Progress of Tally Hall movie. Going swell. Going swell. started filming some stuff so that's cool I actually just filmed a scene before this stream everyone's still there oh Zubin's gone Zubin's gone oh oh there he is you can see his face 
Rob's still there, I think. Yeah, Rob's chilling. Alright, Zubin's just kind of there. As soon as Zubin moves, we're gonna start to pay real close attention to what's going on. Rob's still there. Okay. It's been so long since I've done- It's been so long since I've lost it! No, but like, it's been a while since I've actually played FNAF. So, my strategy might not be too good. I might not play well, is what I'm saying. So if I do poorly, please laugh at me. Zuby boy is still there. He's just chilling. All right. I'll take it. I mean, better than the alternative. Can't let my Nathan pull his ass close. My daughter's growing. Oh, shoot. Is that Zuvin? I guess it would have to be. Because it wasn't, no one was there before. Rob's still there. It's usually just Bonnie on the first night, right? 4 a.m., all right. So I don't think Rob's going to be very active. It's just going to be Zubin. Okay, never mind. He's... <laughs> oh! It's Ross! It's Ross! Ross is Foxy! Get back in there, Ross. Shoo. Why is, why is, why is he coming out on the first night? And Rob's gone? What? Oh, and Zubin's not, no longer... Zubin's around. Zubin is stalking us. He's gonna be in that doorway any second now. They can't be that scary, right? It's just it's just them. I could get jump scared by Tally Hall. Right? So now we just have to keep our eyes on on Rob. No, on Ross. Yeah, I still have no idea where Zubin is. Nor do I know where Rob is. He's gotta be around. What's the strategy with Joe again? I always forget. Where are they? Ross is still in his little photo booth. As for the others, I have no idea. It's 5 a.m., right? There's movement. Where are you? Rob's in the kitchen, cause... You just heard the clap. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> it's a ruler of everything! 
All right, we did it. We did it. If not, when you just close the right door before opening the camera. All right. For Fred, for Freddy. All right. I'm just not gonna do anything until it's like one, because I don't want to waste power. So we still have to deal. We have to deal with Ross already. We don't have to like wait until night. Whatever. He's just he's ready and riled to go. And also, yeah, you can close the doors. Zubin's already gone. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know where Zoobs is. He's already up and about. Rob's there for the time being. Joe's there for the time being. Ross is fully curtained. I wonder if Bora's in here. That's a good question. Maybe Bora is Golden Freddy. But then where's Andrew? It's gotta be Andrew. Oh, Zubin's right there. He's like at the door. That's why I'm still like, how can Tally Hall be scary? I'm not gonna get jump scared by Tally Hall. Tally Hall. Oh! I'm gonna get jump scared by Tally. <laughs> All right. I guess I can get jump scared by Tally Hall. is still vibing. I don't know where Rob is. Rob's still on stage, all right. So we're safe from Rob for now. And Ross seems fine. I wonder if the sound for Joe Hawley's jump scares is the Joe Hawley attack. Doesn't seem like we have to worry about Ross too much. Did they say poggers? I feel like you run out of power in this a lot faster than you do in actual FNAF. Might be going crazy, I don't know. Still there. Go away, Zubin. Ross is still chilling. Go away, Zubin! I love your melodic voice and the tunes you make, but like... I, I, won't, I don't want to give you the bass right now because I'm worried that you smash my head over with it. All right, thanks, man. Rob is no longer on stage. We are not safe from Rob. Zubin is def most definitely on the prowl. Oh, shoot. Ross is coming out. We got to be careful.
Joe's not gonna move for a while, right? He shouldn't move until night three? Is that right? Zoom in again. They stay at the window for a while. Never mind. Ross is still kicking. Okay. I think, yeah, I don't think Joe's gonna come after us for a little while. Yeah. <clears throat> we well, haven't seen Rob yet. I'd say that's good. Love Rob, and how much he thinks things aren't trampolines, but like, don't want him, don't want him making me into a ghost standing in his door, sitting there like a lion. What's he waiting for? Zooby zoob again. Rob sounds like he's still in the kitchen. Cooking up some ch shambalas. Ross is still in there. Still no rob. You could say we've been robbed. Ross is just hanging out in there, which is so fine by me, actually. You just hang out in there, my pal. Any second now, it'll be 6 a.m. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Oh! Okay. All right. We did it. I believe if you go to a different tab, it pauses the game. So I'm going to do that and reach out real quick. Oh, stressful. Don't get caught by Joe. He's the scariest. That's true. Perry, WTF. What do you mean WTF? It's cool. We love Tally Hall. Anyway, what plushies are y'all getting? I'm getting Andrew. Love that guy. What do you got for me, phone man? Hello, hello. Hey, you're doing great. Most people don't last this long. I mean, you know, we could even move on to other things by now. Not implying that they died. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I better not take up too much of your time. Things start getting weird. Wait, Joe's gone! Uh, hey, listen, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed in your suit, uh, try playing dead. No, don't limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think you're an empty costume. 
shoot. Joe's gone. Okay. That's not good. Alright. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Turkey strategy into consideration. I'll close that door whenever I check cams. Because I believe Freddy in FNAF 1 only attacks after you take the cam down. I could be so, so wrong on that, though. Alright. There's- well, there's Rob. All right. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to do about Joe. I know I need to keep tabs on Ross because he nearly came out last night. He's almost gone. Joe Holly. I heard Joe Holly. Yeah. Oh, there's Joe Holly. Well, I heard Joe Holly. Joe Holly's attacking. Hearing the Joe Holly attacks. They could be coming from any direction. Well, there's Rob. Again, there's Rob. Man, Rob is killing it. It'd be crazy if Zubin appeared too. Oh man, it's hard to commentate on stuff like this. You gotta focus. You gotta concentrate. Right now though, I think we're good Ross-wise. Well, we're not good Rob-wise. <clears throat> Man, Rob is just on the hunt three times already. It's only been three hours. I think we're decent on power, though. Because we're halfway through and I'm over 50%. As long as nothing terrible happens, we should be fine. I haven't heard any dollies in a little while, so... I think we're good from his attack. At least I think. Ross is still behind the curtain.
It's been 3 a.m. forever. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. So, yeah, I think I think turkey strategy with Joe is working right now because I haven't had to interact with him. Haven't seen Zubin in a while. I wonder where he is about. There he is. Ross is going to come out in a second. There's Rob. Go away, Rob. Go away, Rob. Please. I'm begging. Begging you. <clears throat> Please, man. Thank you. All right, 5 a.m. 33% should be good. Still no Joe. Knock on wood. <clears throat> oh, you know? You know? You know how like they play that Trivador song whenever you run out of power and Freddy comes? I bet it's gonna be Joe Holly attacks. I would bet money on that. I guess someone from my school, someone from my school subscribed to me today. I swear this is going to be your first impression of me. Come on. a little bit longer yeah Woo! I am the master you look like the tally hall person in the camera there's injury in this game Perry check Suomi Suomi I, I don't care about Suomi trout right now it's tally hall I don't really care who wins. Fine. What do you want? <laughs> okay, I vaguely see it. I vaguely see it. I vaguely see the resemblance, but not that much. All right, night four. Everyone's there for right now. I can quickly check the chat again. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, uh, wow, this is just an excuse for me to get banned. You're not gonna get banned. This is the real FNAF security. Oh, they're already both gone! I hear good day. Why do I hear good day? Oh my god, he's like, they're so active. What? Did phone guy get attacked by Joe Holly? 
Guys, I think Foam Guy got Joe Hawley attacked. Oh, it's Jover. It's Jover. Oh, man. This is actually getting stressful. We are good for right now, it seems. But we have to keep tabs on Ross. The Joe strategy seems to be working wonders. So I'll keep doing that. I have now been compared to two Tally Hall members, Ross and Bora. I'm sure someone said I look like Joe at some point, but... Oh. Did I just hear a Joe Holly? I think I, think I heard a Joe Holly. Ross should be in there for a little while, I think. Yeah, Ross is chilling. <sighs> no Zubin or Rob. Ross is out though. I'll take no Zubin and Rob, honestly. Ross has been more active than the both of them so far. Well, there's Rob. And Zubman's gonna come now. This is actually stressful. sounds. Alright, 3 a.m., 65%. We're doing well. We're doing very well. There's Zubin. What's up, Zubes? That took a huge chunk of our power. But Ross is back in his nest, so that's nice. <clears throat> I don't know how long he's going to stay in there, though. No Rob. Haven't seen Rob in a while. Is that that yellow tie, the suave gel fellow that writes Heather phonic tunes of how love bites?
Come on, go away, Rob. Go away, Rob. Please. Pretty please. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right, come on, 5 a.m. Any second now. For the record, I will say we are doing pretty well, I think. Ross is still there. Always pleasant to see. There's Zubin. There goes Zubin. Zubin did not want to stay for very long. It's kind of hurtful. 5 a.m. All right. We can do this. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. Did not mean to keep that on that long. We should be good. We have 30%. But stranger things... Strange things can happen. <gasps> I heard it, Joe Holly. There's Zoobs. Please don't stay just the same amount you did last time, Zubin. Just go whenever you fancy. <clears throat> whenever you want, man. Preferably sooner than later, though. I got a Ross I need to keep, keep eyes on. And a Joe Hawley. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, Jolly. Let's go! The best. I'm the best. It's... All right. We did it! We did it! Five... Fifth night! Final night! There should be no phone. I thought he died. I thought he got Joe Holly attacked. He did get Joe Holly attacked. Zubin's out and about. Rob's out and about. I don't want to close the doors while doing cams until I know Joe's gone. Because that uses a good chunk of power. Joe's still there. Joe Holly is out and about. I repeat, Joe Holly is out and about. There's Zoobs. Oh, everything bad that could be happening is happening. Ross is already up.
Oh. Oh golly. Things are not going too swell. At this point, we don't look at any other cat cams. We just look at what Ross is doing. Joe Holly is active, like really active. There's Zoobs. I want to keep that door open because Joe could come at any time. But also, I don't want to close it and look at cams because that uses so much power. Alright, that was kind of a bad maneuver, but it worked. Alright, his curtain's fully closed. That's nice. Still fully closed. That's very cool. I won't worry about him for a little bit. I actually will continue to worry because, like, it's, it's night five. Anything could happen. Maybe he will just hang out in there. I don't know. Come on, 3 a.m. Please. Please. All right. 50 separate cents at 3 a.m. I don't like our odds, but... What happens is gonna happen. Zubin, go away. Pity, please. I love the trap. I love the trap. Don't lure me into one. I don't want to be the willing victim of a cannibal. I know it's just you and me. But maybe we we're never meant to know. And, and you? You are who you are. Out in the twilight, when you're fighting that sacred beast with a lady while singing that hymn for a scarecrow. Yeah. As, as much as misery fell, I guess it really just was the fate of the stars. Zoobs. You gotta do me like that. I just did a whole bit. Ross is still hanging out in there, so... I'll take that. Zubin, what's up? What do you want? What'd I do to you? Is it because I said the trap wasn't my favorite anymore? That was a lie. They told they gave you lies. I love the trap. It's not my favorite anymore. You didn't hear that from me.
Ross should be quiet for a little while. Nineteen percent. Right, Five AM, come on. We can survive this. Come on. Don't come after me, Ross. Please. I love your songs. Like Light and Night and Mucka Blucka. Please, I'm the number one Mucka Blucka fan, I swear. Such a good track. Didn't deserve deserve to be more than a bonus album. Bonus song, bonus track. In fact, it should have been on every album. All the songs just should have been mucka blockified. Oh. oh no! I have eleven percent. I have eleven percent. Oh my god! We did it. Five nights. Now, do we do sixth night? I'm gonna do sixth night. We're just gonna try it out. See if we can do it. We probably won't, but just wanna give it the old fashioned shot. I'm gonna be very sparing with how I use my lights. I'm gonna try to conserve as much energy as possible. on the boat. You have a very good feeling we are not surviving this.
That takes away like 10% of our power. Oh, that's why it went away, because he ran into it. Seems like overkill to me. I don't think it should take that much power. <clears throat> Okay. All right, sure. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to survive that sixth night anyway. All right, that was actually, like, unironically kind of cool. Like, I went into it thinking it was going to be bad, and then it was kind of good. So, that's Five Nights at Tally Hall, everybody. Uh, Y'all should check it out. That's what the jump scare looks like, if you're wondering. Um... So yeah, 